Expo Jump Spots, Lines of Sight, and Wall Banks for Ranked. Let's go! Starting off in the back spawn, you can get on this truck, and then you can jump on this light over here. And if you jump, you can see all the way to that sign to the other side of the map. And you can see if people are crossing over. You used to be able to jump on this as well, but they patched it. From this truck, you can jump onto this bus over here. And this is a great place to hold when you're defending the A point, the A control point over here. Because if you're standing over here, then you're going to make all the enemies spawn over there, like right under my ping. You're going to make them spawn over here on the map. So this is going to force them to either come and challenge over here, which you're going to have an advantage, or it's going to force them to go back inside and go through B if they want to go to A. From the top of the bus, you can jump on top of this sign, which has no parking, and this can be another great spot to hold when you want to spawn trap the people that are going to be coming to get the A control point. And moving towards the spy area over here, you can actually jump on the side of this tree over here. And if you keep walking forward, you're going to stay up here. But if you try to aim or do anything else, you're going to fall. I'm just letting you know so you, that you can know that it exists. You can actually get on top of this tower rack over here and you can head glitch this. So you can hold your line of sight towards bar or towards glass and the gate control point over here. And you can dolphin dive to that corner over there like this and it's gonna make you stay up on it and if you turn around you can hold a like this <laughs> obviously it's a bit weird it, it it makes you go up and down obviously you can jump onto all of these things over here you can climb on top of here from the front as well like this you can actually get on top of this heat lamp by getting on on top of these chairs and jumping and then crouching and you're on top and you can hold the spy area very well if any people are going to be coming to attack or defend the A point. You can see the whole of spy area, which is a very common route they take. And being on top of here is going to make it very hard for people that are going to be in glass and bar to see you. So this is a very overpowered spot to use. You can also do the same with this heat lamp over here. You just jump on it and crouch and you're on top. But this isn't as good because you can be seen from this side. A very common spot for people to hold is this one over here, right where this deployable cover is. You can jump on this blue thing and get on top of this wooden thing over here. And then you can stand on top of this tree. And through here, you can actually wall bang. So you can see I'm getting hit markers on the deployable cover. You can do it without jumping as well, like this. You can also wall bang pretty much everything inside this house, starting off with the most important spots. So say that someone's camping in this corner over here. You come to the stairs over here and if you stand right in between the first step and the floor and you shoot here you can actually wall bang it so i'm just getting hit markers onto this deployable cover right now they're basically going through this wooden thing over here and hitting right on the deployable cover you can also wall bang this corner over here so we place a deployable cover and this is a bit more complicated but you come over here again and you want to be up like up all the way up the stairs and you just aim and shoot in that corner over there as long as your teammates tell you in which corner they are then you can wall bang them through here and just get reported and get banned but yeah that's very easy to wall bang them through here you can actually get on top of these two doors over here so this one like this and watch all the way to glass and you can get on top of the next one as well you can also jump from over here as well and you can hold all of snow over there and their spawn and part of glass as well. And you can see all of it if you jump. You can actually shoot through these windows over here. So let me just shoot a bit. And over there, there's bullet holes. So yeah, if someone's camping somewhere over here, then you can shoot them through that window. And you can also shoot through all of this side over here. All the this side that's covered with black glass, you can shoot through. So if you think that someone's camping inside here, you can basically shoot through all of this. You can also shoot through the whole of the side of this side of the restaurant. You can see the bullet holes over here. So if you know that someone's camping over there, you can just wall bang them like this through bar. Another great spot to use when you're defending the A point is if you come all the way up the staircase of bar, you can drop on this door over here and turn around. This is actually a great spot to use if your teammates are capturing A. 
and you want to defend them because people are not going to expect you to be on this doorway over here and you can jump on the other door as well if you want to kill people that are going to be coming over here and over here if you know that someone's camping on top of bar over there you can actually come all the way out to here and if you crouch and come all the way to the left like this you actually have a head glitch on top of this stone wall over here so you're going to be able to shoot them like this and it's going to be harder for them to shoot you and you can also have a head glitch over here like this but they can shoot through this wooden thing so be careful on the back of this spawn right here you can actually get on top of this truck by jumping onto this and jumping up like this and from on top of this truck you can strafe jump onto this little sign over here and the other way you can get on top of the sign is by jumping onto this white tarp and then jumping up because you can't get onto it normally. If you lie down, you can see the whole of the left side of the spawn. You can see most of the restaurant area over there and even that side of the A control point, the whole of snow. And on this side of the spawn over here, you can get on top of this truck like this. You have to stand on the edge of that and you can jump on this door and when you crouch you have a good head glitch through here so if you if you're defending b and you think that you're going to get flanked this way you can hold this or even if the other per people are spawning over there in snow and you're attacking the b side you can hold this line of sight through this iron thing over here you can actually wall bang this wall over here so the bullets are going to pass through like this so if anyone's camping glass and is standing behind this line over here so maybe like back here trying to shoot at people you can just straight up shoot at them through this you can also wall bang this door like right here you see i'm getting hit markers like this you can shoot all the way across so if at the start of the round people rush through here you can actually get hit markers through this door another great wall bang to use is you can actually shoot through bar so if someone's camping over here you can actually shoot through bar you can shoot through all of this wooden wall so you see i'm getting hit markers on the deployable cover so anywhere that there's a wooden wall you can shoot through and you can see over there i'm getting hit markers on the deployable cover and you can actually shoot through this wall and kill any people that are going to be camping the top b control point over here i'll just place a deployable cover to show you so if you're behind bar you can actually wall bang this you can see i'm getting hit markers obviously your opponent's head is going to be higher up than a deployable cover it's going to be somewhere over here so i'm going to place a deployable cover over here to simulate that you can actually wall bang that all the way from here so you can see i'm getting hit markers on that deployable cover obviously not all the time but but you can see i actually get a fair few hit markers on that deployable cover they go over the bar and they go through this wall and they hit the deployable cover over here if someone is camping somewhere on this straight line somewhere inside the backstage over here you can actually shoot through this wooden thing over here and you can see i'm getting hit markers on the deployable cover you can also wall bang if someone's standing over there but you have to shoot through this part of the wall right here you can see I was doing some testing over here. And you can actually wall bang all of these two walls. So if I know that the deployable cover is over there, I can actually wall bang it all the way through here. And you can wall bang these walls over here as well. So if someone's camping lying down behind this, you can wall bang them. You can actually wall bang this wall over here. So you can see I'm shooting through the wall right here. And these go through the wall over here and hit the deployable cover so you can get hit markers on people that are going to be rushing through here over here you can actually reach this from over there without having to mantle on it like this if you use a strafe jump so you strafe jump like this and you run on top of it you can actually jump on the corner of this box so like this and crouch and you have a good head glitch behind this forklift so if they're going to be rushing around this way, you can easily kill them. And you can even watch this side over here. Another great line of sight to use is if you get on top of this white thing over here, you have a good head glitch towards the bar. If you're waiting for people to attack the A control point. You can actually get in the pool and you can lie down over here. And this is another one of those stair glitches that I talked about in a previous video. Because it kind of works like a ledge. 
So a lot of your body is going to be hidden behind this staircase, but you can still see the people passing through and you can shoot them. So you can actually, just from these stairs, you can wallbang the open staircase over there. You can wallbang these two doors. I'm really sorry that there's not more jump spots. I've been trying since the map came out to find more jump spots, but the ones that I showed you are the only ones I could find. But still, there's a lot of wall banks in this map, as you've seen. And you should be able to use most of them in control. Just make sure that you're not forcing it. Let the opportunity present itself, and then you can use these wall banks very effectively. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you, and peace.